Good morning, YouTube. Check it out. One of the coldest days in Rochester, New York. As you can see, it's snowing. Um, here's what's going on. A 14-year-old autistic student from a local school here in the Rochester, New York area, elementary school, went missing yesterday. Um, when he was on the bus, when the bus arrived at the school, he never made it into the school. So there is a search underway here in Rochester, New York, led by the Rochester, New York Police Department. And here's the thing. In the past, I've been very outspoken about the response by the Rochester, New York Police Department when it comes to missing, not only children, but missing adults, and especially minorities. Now, this is something that happens throughout the country. We all know that mainstream media loves to sensationalize stories, uh, especially when it's a Caucasian woman. Uh, the statistics, and you can look this up. Before anyone gets uh, pissed off at what I'm saying, you can look this up for yourself. There's something called uh, white woman syndrome, and it's a well-known uh, term. Uh, where mainstream media exploits, sensationalizes for ratings cases of missing young white females. And this is just something that's, like I said, it's not me saying it, so before anyone gets their uh, panties in a twist, you can look that up yourself, white woman syndrome. And it's interesting to read about how the media... Uh, you know, like I said, sensationalizes and exploits uh, certain stories that they literally, you could say, handpick. Uh, but when it's a minority, when it's Taishika from the hood or Jose, right, from El Barrio, the response is very, very different. Sorry about the pothole. Um, so, you know, kind of following that story so stay tuned so late last night um around 9 30 i heard a helicopter in the air i believe it was a state new york state police helicopter uh, part of the search that they're conducting for this missing 14 year old autistic student uh, that goes to a local school here in the Rochester, New York area. And the school is not far from uh, where I live. And the search was taking place in the area of my Hope Cemetery, which I've talked a lot about in the past very historic cemetery, one of the country's uh, oldest and most historic cemeteries. Uh, it's where Frederick Douglass is buried. It's where Susan B. Anthony is buried. And um, so I guess police, I guess the Rochester New York Police Department had some information that uh, made them think that this young man was somewhere in the area of the cemetery. But a lot of people in the community are asking why the search was being conducted around 9, 30, 10 p.m. Now, this is more than 12 hours after this young man went missing. In other words, this is more than 12 hours after his bus arrived at his school and he never made it inside his school. So again, a lot of people in the community are questioning the response by the Rochester, New York Police Department of basically waiting more than 12 hours from the time that the school knew that this young man never made it into the school. Now, I don't know about 
you guys and girls out there, but when I went to school, they took attendance, right? And in taking attendance, obviously they would have realized that this young man was not in school. At which point his parents or guardians would have been notified. But again, this is in the morning. So why the way, this is the school here actually, right? So why the wait for so long to put helicopters in the air and conduct this search for this young man? That is what a lot of folks are asking in Rochester, New York.